those bosses are making a lot of noise. Good strength from the handle was a good grip. Not enough to take hold, this one here. Hello ladies and gentlemen, so for those that don't know, I run a series on Instagram where I take this chair to different locations all across London. And in today's video, we're going to be taking it to three different locations, starting off with the famous Tower Bridge. But not just any bog standard Tower Bridge. You see, today we are driving to central London, the day where Tower Bridge lifts, which if you didn't know, is when the center section of the bridge opens up, allowing for large boats and ships to pass through. And the plan is simple, to stick the chair in the middle of the road, whilst in the background, the bridge is lifting. Location number two is far simpler, Millennium Bridge, a popular bridge leading to St. Paul's Cathedral. Finally, location number three, a long, scary, smelly foot tunnel in Greenwich. It is currently 9 a.m. The bridge lifts up in an hour and a half. We got the chair. Let's get going. Today, the gods have helped us out. As soon as we left the car park, some random guy just said, do you want this? And of course, I'm not going to say no. This makes our life 10 times easier because now we don't have to like carry it with manpower. We can just let the wheels do the work. Now, at this point, life was amazing. The shoot was going very well. However, the guy who gifted us this trolley then wanted it back. That's fine. Sorry, yeah. It's okay. Could you have it take it out? That's okay. Sure. Yeah. A little bit. Not really. Not really? No, you can put it in your head. On my head? Yes, yeah, like Show me, head. show me. This is not much. Yeah? <laughs> yeah? yeah, all right. You're gonna take it with me. Huh? You're gonna take <laughs> oh, my friend. You are big, young. I am 52. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, strong though. No, Stronger than me. It's not, it's not heavy, my friend. Okay. Just put in your head. Yeah? In my head, all right. Thank you. Bye-bye. You know what, it's all right, yeah, thank you. Have a good day. You know what? He's taking it back, which I'm low-key fuming about, but he's offered me some genius advice. This is way easier. The amount of chair shoots I've done as well, and like, it's been absolute hell carrying it. But this, it's a godsend, oh my God. <laughs> So the bridge is about to lift off and unfortunately it hasn't really worked out how we wanted because as you can see there's a bunch of people there um, and the thing is going to rise this way and it's going to be a bunch of people in the shot which isn't ideal. We also tried to go in the road which was the initial plan but the guy was just not having it. I don't know if the GoPro footage is good but yeah he just, he just wasn't having it. Um, so let's see how this goes. I think it looks quite sick. I think it looks quite sick. We couldn't leave the bus. Yeah, this is what I mean. Yeah, this is better. This is what I tried to explain before. Despite my girlfriend absolutely obliterating my bag, we actually ended up with a few decent images from this specific angle. I think having no people in the background makes for a much more pleasing image. So location number one done. Overall, didn't turn out too bad given the circumstances. Location number two is a bit of a spontaneous one. So let me just take my bag so I don't get robbed. Come over here. Now, if you are a photographer on Instagram, you probably know this spot, but down there, I don't know if the camera picks it up, but down there, there's um, a little like famous shot where essentially you've got Tower Bridge in the back and there's a little platform there. So a little platform with the chair, Tower Bridge in the background, a little different sort of um, perspective to what the first shot is. 
see how it goes. Let's go. All right, first location, Tower Bridge is done. Also, that platform that I mentioned previously was covered in piss, um, which wasn't ideal. And the shots also, it was quite cramped. It, it didn't really work. So now uh, it's currently midday and we are moving to the next location, which is... Millennium Bridge. Millennium Bridge, indeed. So after we parked up, we probably walked about five miles along the river to Millennium Bridge, which is just next to us. Um, we walked up the stairs and we realized there's actually a decent frame of St. Paul's in the back. So that's the shot you're seeing now. A um, little, little bit of a spontaneous one and I think it's quite nice. Whilst setting up and taking these photos, it became very apparent that people were very interested in our chair, wanted to sit down in our chair, wanted to take pictures in our chair. And then we met this guy, Kevin. He was the nicest one out of all of them and really took the time to talk to us and really showed interest in my idea. And it just sort of reminded me why I do this. You see, carrying around this chair all day isn't particularly fun. And so seeing someone in person genuinely so excited about the idea, I just found incredible. So yeah, shout out to you, Kevin. Now we're on the way to the third and final location, Cutty Sark, AKA Greenwich Foot Tunnel. Not gonna lie, the tiredness has started to kick in. I uh, just had a banana and we picked up a coffee. Now, I actually haven't been to this tunnel before, so I don't really know what to expect, but from, I think I saw one shoot there, I feel like it was, an, it was ASOS and it looked banging. So I took inspiration and now we're going there. All right, so we've arrived at the final location. Let's do this. All right, so we brought the chair down, uh, from down there, as you can see, basically is a hella long tunnel under the Thames. Connects, I think, Kati Sark to, I don't know what's that side, but I'm, it'll be on screen. Took some shots just in the chair, with a chair in the middle of the footpath. Big issue, there's a shit ton of people um, coming from both ways constantly. And I don't want to spend a year on Photoshop to remove them. So it's just a waiting game, to be honest. Setting up the chair and waiting for no to little people in the frame. We are also looking for, the Im I'll show you an image on screen of like where the, the walls look a bit fucked. I don't know what it's called, but it's like more like mazy. Um, and I feel like that's, that's, that would add a lot to the image rather than just these like manky looking curved walls. I don't know how long we're gonna be walking that way for considering there's no end point in sight, but we're gonna give it a go. And three, two, one. Oh, and then, oh, fuck it up. Let's go. I see I can even walk, walk backwards a little bit, forwards. Sideways, huh? Everything, everything. Guys, we have been severely catfished. So as you can see, the bit where like the walls are like really like jaggedy, it's just that tiny bit there. Few minutes is an understatement. You know, we drove about thirty minutes for this flipping location. And it just doesn't, it doesn't look that great. So, yeah, still trying to get the shot, but fuming, fuming. So after what we thought was a tragic event, we actually ended up getting a decent shot. Um, literally chair in the middle, very simple, but it actually looks, I'm quite pleased with it. So don't judge a book by its cover. Before I was genuinely very unhappy. I think you can see how unhappy I am in, in the frame. I don't know if, that, if you can see that, but I look pissed off, and that's because I am pissed off, because I thought the shot was going to be absolutely awful. Uh, but it actually ended up being all right. Possibly shot of the day, what do you reckon? Oh. Sensational. Right, ladies and gentlemen, that wraps up the second episode of the chair series. Um, three locations done today. A few shots, I think, turned out all right, which you'll see on screen. Uh, feel free to let me know what your favorite is. 
if you are interested in episode one of the chair, uh, it's a few videos back um, in Trent Park, which is um, a park, local park near us. Uh, I think this one's better, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, better locations and better photos, would you say? Definitely. Definitely. Fun fact for you, Greenwich footpath is hilly. If anyone's walked backwards, uphill, fair play to you, because that was a flipping struggle. Uh, my calves are on fire right now. Project Jack um, Greenish. Project Jack Greenish. <laughs> that wraps up this series. Big up the chair, big up Kevin. And as always, catch you in the next one.